This isn't exactly news per se, because, you know, we'd already heard that a joke or two was going to happen. But there has been movement and update in that, you know, a lot of the big websites are reporting that Todd Phillips is back. He is officially signed on to write the script for Joker 2, a Joker sequel. And um, it's an assumption. It's assumed that he'll come back to direct Joker 2, just like he wrote and directed. I think he co-wrote and directed Joker 1, but he did direct Joker 1. And, you know, of course, that movie was a huge success. It was the first R-rated movie to make over a billion dollars without China for the United States. And it got Joaquin Phoenix an Oscar for Best Actor. And the composer, Hilder, Hilda Gudnadotter, I keep, oh, I mangle that woman's name. She won for Best Composer, very well deserved. The Joker soundtrack was just epic and, and like mesmerizing. They both deserve those awards. And, you know, I'm wondering if Joker 2 will be met with controversy like the first one was. In fact, even more. Because if you remember, Joker 1 got... Con Before, like, anybody even saw it, all these critics made assumptions. It painted a sympathetic portrayal of a man who was, you know, presumably going to be committing acts of violence against masses of people, which is similar to, you know acts of massive violence against, you know, citizens that happen in real life, unfortunately, especially in the United States, where the Joker movie is based, in Gotham City, United States. But that controversy did not stop the movie from being successful. But, you know, it was also nominated either, was it, it was either nominated for Best Picture or Best Director or both, and a lot of people didn't like that. They didn't like that um, Todd Phillips got nominated for Best Director. I think they were mad that he got the slot that what Greta Gerwig was supposed to get. That was their assumption. But, you know, the movie overcame a lot of that. It was fine. It was commercially successful. And, you know, critically, it got great reviews, great box office, and it won some Oscars. Not Best Picture, Best Director, but it still won two big ones. So I'm wondering if there might be more of a backlash because people might resent the fact that Joker kind of survived and overcame roadblocks that the media put before it when the first one came out, right? Are they going to like try to criticize Joker 2 even more? Um, are they going to try to deny it from um, getting more Oscar nominations? Um, you know, to try to punish Todd Phillips, so to speak, punish the movie? We'll see. We'll see how the Joker sequel does. Maybe they'll be nicer to it because it overcame a lot of the roadblocks they said before. And it's still, the, the audience certainly didn't mind it. You know, the, the viewing public. So, you know, maybe that will be enough to shut a lot of these critics up who are still angry. And I felt that anger was unwarranted because when you saw the movie, I don't know. I mean, the movie was not what a lot of people were like trying to fear monger into being before they even saw it. It was not a movie that motivated people to commit acts of violence. It wasn't glorifying people who do commit acts of like, you know, mass violence at all. It motivated people to, like, you know, dance downstairs and want to date Walking Phoenix. Remember that? The Joker stairs meme thing and all these viral videos and how it that took off? That's what it motivated people to do, <laughs> to dance on stairs and think Walking Phoenix was hot. But still, you know, the media does not like it when, you know, movies that they don't want to succeed actually succeed, especially DC movies. So, you know, but anyways, Todd Phillips is back and so is the Joker. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.